Jura E8 and S8, which one should you pick? Many people advise you to choose E8, but you are still hesitating. Watch this video to know why it is the winner. Between Jura E8 and S8, the E8 seems more widely loved. Are you wondering why? Although the two coffee makers are mostly similar, there are some unique features that make Jura A1 more popular than its competitor. Now, let's find out the differences between them. 1. Design and Convenience Let's start with the exact dimensions first. The Jura E8 has a dimension of 13.8 x 17.3 x 11 inches with a weight of 21.6 pounds. Meanwhile, its competitor measures at 13.7 x 17.3 x 11 inches and weighs 22 pounds. The specifications are roughly the same. To be fair, I do not decide the winner based on dimensions. Rather, I will look into the design and convenience each offers. The main difference between the designs of Jura E8 versus S8 lies in how you adjust the settings. With the E8, you need to use the buttons since there is no touchscreen. Meanwhile, the S8 features an LCD screen that you can touch to select the drink type as well as coffee strength and volume. Obviously, having a touchscreen offers great convenience. The Jura E8 is available in two options of black and stainless steel, while the S8 offers only silver coating. Still, the silver version looks sleek. I will give the nod to Jura S8 in this round given the touch screen it offers. That is a huge bonus that its competitor cannot compare. 2. Capacity Capacity is the second criterion I use to compare Jura E8 versus Jura S8, and the Jura E8 continues to defeat the S8 in this round. Each coffee maker is designed with the same 64 ounces water tank and 10 ounces bean hopper. So with identical capacity, why is Jura E8 the winner? This is due to its output. To be specific, the E8 can brew two cups of coffee at a time, while its competitor is only capable of delivering one cup. The more coffee, the better. 3. Features and Accessories What about features and accessories? Well, the Jura E8 and S8 both have built-in frother and grinder, which I highly appreciate. Everything is adjustable with the two machines, from the temperature, water quantity, water hardness, water flow, coffee spout height, to coffee strength. Likewise, cleaning is a breeze with both E8 and S8 as both are equipped with self-cleaning systems, along with extra features such as automatic anti-caulk, anti-scale, caulk clean function. About the beverages, the two products offer a bunch of options, namely latte macchiato, cappuccino, espresso, ristretto, etc. Thanks to the pulse extraction process that optimizes the extraction time, you can always enjoy the best coffee and espresso. There are still differences that help distinguish Jura S8 and E8. For example, the Jura E8 is known to have a tea-making function, which the S8 does not offer. This is good news if you or your family members drink not only coffee but also tea. Also, the E8 makes latte while its competitor offers cafe latte on the menu. Which one you should choose depends on your preferences in this case. Last but not least, while the S8 comes complete with a water level indicator, the E8 has none. The water indicator is useful as it tells how much water is left in the tank and you should refill now or later. The Jura E8 wins by a nose mostly due to the tea making function. My Jura E8 vs S8 comparison has explained why people tend to love the E8 more. It offers a 2 cup output with tea making function. Nonetheless, I love the Jura S8 due to the convenient touch screen. You can read my comparison of Jura S8 vs J6 here. Thank you.